In biology, we classify organisms into groups. So for example, cats can form a genus known as Felis, while other cats are in a genus Panthera. Uh, cats can be in subfamilies such as Felinae or Pantheranae. Uh, cats can then uh, be part of the family Felidae and the suborder Feliformia and the order Carnivora. The order Carnivora would also include, say, dogs and bears, but they belong to different families in a different suborder, and the families could then be divided into uh, subfamilies and other categories uh, as well. So we classify biological groups um, and we can use anatomical traits. We can refer to the anatomy of fossils, um, but we can also use genetic comparisons. And so one could compare the sequences of specific genes or regions of the genome or the mitochondrial chromosome. Um, some of these genes could be coding or not. One could compare amino acid sequences. And thus then uh, we could determine the relationships based on genetic features and compare those to the anatomical features. Very often they complement each other quite nicely, although sometimes you know one genetic study might differ from another um, in some minor details, uh, such as one branch is closer to you know, branch three as opposed to typically branch two. Um, and, and the same is true of uh, anatomical studies. And so very often after a large number of studies uh, are performed, then, you know, a conglomerate picture uh, can uh, be uh, produced, you know, testing one set of conclusions against uh, another. And so in this case here, there was a specific, very thorough um, DNA sequencing of members of the order Carnivora, uh, which uh, presented uh, these following results, which I would like to you know, just depict in an animated form. So note that in this study, um, all that of the carnivores seem to be related to each other. They form a monophyletic group. So carnivore DNA sequences are more similar to those of other carnivores than to any other organisms. But one can then divide carnivores into a series of subgroups. So all carnivores are related to each other, but not equally. So just as uh, is suggested from anatomical comparisons, we break the suborder carnivora into two suborders, the Feliformia, the cat half of the carnivore suborder, and the Caniformia, the dog and bear half of the carnivore suborder. In the cat half, the sequences uh, are then grouped into a number of families. So viverids, hyenas, and a number of um, uh, cat-like uh, predators, especially in the old world, group in this suborder in addition to the cat family Felidae. Now, many of these families could then be divided into subfamilies. And so cats can be divided into uh, the Felinae subfamily and the Pantheranae. Rather than go through the specifics of the branching pattern in this study, because another study might come up with a slightly different branching pattern, I just wanted to point out that when genes are compared, what is typically observed is not only a relationship based on similarity, but a pattern of relationships forming genera, subfamilies, families where members of the Feliformia suborder are all related but to varying degrees. The same is also true when comparing the sequences of carnivores which have been placed in the dog half of the order carnivora, the suborder caniformia. One finds that dogs group together, but to varying degrees. So there would be dogs of the genus Canis, which would group together, which would be more distantly related to then red foxes and more distantly still uh, to uh, gray foxes. Um, then there would be other groups which would also associate with this suborder, such as the bear family Ursidae, which could be divided into subfamilies. Uh, a number of marine predators, so the seals, sea lions, and walrus, they seem to be derived 
from the same common ancestors as bears that uh, ancestral carnivores uh, that diversified with one lineage becoming the bear ancestors, one lineage becoming the ancestors of the seal, sea lions, and walrus. And then there are families which include skunks, uh, raccoons, mustelids such as otters and weasels, etc. Once again, there is a pattern of similarity uh, reflected in the degree of relationship found in these genetic sequences. And so uh, the order carnivora seems to be uh, related uh, as a monophyletic clade, as does each of the two suborders, as do many of the families. And so biologists can utilize both anatomical traits and genetic traits when classifying living things into real biological groups. And genetic studies indicate that these organisms, such as the species in the order Carnivora, are related through common descent, but to varying degrees, reflecting biological categories, which we name as families, subfamilies, suborders, etc.